Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here. And today I want to talk about what I think is the best handle grip for the DJI RS gimbals. Now this will work for the RS3 Pro, RS3, RS2, and RSC2. Now the RS3 Pro does come with a grip handle, which I have here. And honestly, I don't really like it that much. The handle that I've been using since the RS2 is this one made by Small Rig. And I've done a video on this before. So later in this video, I'm going to show you the majority of that video in this video. So I don't have to refilm everything that I talked about. But before I do, I kind of just want to go over the differences. So here we have both handles side by side and they're almost the same size. However, the small rig is slightly shorter. Now, personally, I don't think that's a bad thing. This is large enough to be able to hold comfortably in pretty much any angle and not feel like it's too small or too hard to use. I'm going to put them close to each other. Now this top bracket here is roughly about the same length. Now the small rig is thinner and the DJI is thicker. Now when it comes to the handle, the small rig feels a lot better. This DJI one does have some rubber on each side, so it is better than just being plastic. However, the small rig, I can't really show you this, you have to really feel it, but this is a little bit more cushiony. So it's actually a lot better when you grip and you hold on to it. It doesn't feel like it's gonna slip off even if your hands get sweaty. This actually kind of molds a little bit to your fingers when you're putting pressure on it. Now it's not super squishy, but it definitely is way more comfortable to hold. Now another very noticeable difference is that the teeth on the Ronin are a lot thicker and more rounded. Whereas the teeth here on the small rig are smaller so you actually have a lot more teeth allowing you to get a more precise angle that you want and the sharper teeth mean that it feels a lot more sturdy. The small rig feels like you can pretty much lock it at any position whereas the DJI handle feels like you have a big step between each angle. Now they both do have their own little twisting lock though they both operate the same and they're both about the same size. Both of them are NATO clamps that mount perfectly onto the RS gimbals However, it does have a little locking pin that holds it in place. So even if this comes loose, it has an extra level of security. Now, when it comes to mounting options, the small rig has a lot more. Now on the outside, both of them have a quarter inch 20 mount. However, the small rig one is the only one that has a cold shoe mount on that same area. Flipping them inside and the small rig can do two quarter inch 20 threads, whereas the DJI can only do one. Now, when it comes to the handle, the small rig has a quarter inch 20 on each side and the DJI one has no quarter inch 20s on the sides. Now, on the bottom, both of them have a cold shoe mount. The DJI one on the left has only a quarter inch 20 and the small rig has two quarter inch 20s and a 3 8 inch mount. So when you're holding it like this, you can again move it to any angle. It does have very big teeth, so it allows it to stay locked in place no matter what angle you want. So depending on your hand, your wrist, etc., you can really find that sweet spot. Now, I definitely love using this also when I'm doing the underslung mode or briefcase mode. This allows me to do some very great low angle shots and really have it at its optimal comfort level. Now, obviously this handle is going to come in handy in any type of film that you're shooting, whether it's a short film, whether it's a YouTube video, etc. But for skateboarding, especially this thing is essential. I can't recommend it enough. I actually had this handle on the entire time that I shot the Halloween Kills the Barracks video, which I do have a link for in the description. And right now, as I'm speaking, you're seeing some clips of it and some behind the scenes. I actually also really liked having the little tripod legs that come with the RS2 on the bottom because it allowed me to use the handle with one hand and have my other hand here on the tripod legs, which has a good grip as well. And I was actually able to get a lot more comfortable skateboarding shots like this with kind of a dual handle at an angle. And with the small rig handle, you can easily put it in either side, left or right, and you can either put it this direction or you can put it this direction. Now, like most of the accessories made for the RS2, this does have a little locking screw. So when you actually end up putting this in, it does lock in so you actually can't pull it out. So it's like a little safety pin. And then you can tighten up the screw to make sure that this is rock solid and doesn't move or get loose at all. So you have the main lock and then you have the little safety pin. So if you end up wanting to take it off, you unscrew the lock and then just pull the safety pin away and lift up. And the little safety pin does hold on the bottom as well. Now, like I mentioned earlier, DJI does have a handle grip 
that they make now and it comes with the RS3 Pro. If you don't have the RS3 Pro, then this doesn't come in your package. But if you did get the RS3 Pro, I still recommend spending the extra money to get the handle grip made by Small Rig. It's just so much better. So there you guys have it. That's what I think is the best and must have handle grip for any of the DJI RS gimbals. If you're interested in getting that or any of the other gear that I use, I do have links in the description where you can purchase them. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.